Do you feel confused about a man you're dating or in a relationship with because at times you feel so attracted, so connected and so excited about him and other times you feel hurt, you feel emotionally drained and ultimately confused about what's really happening? Well, if you're unable to decide if you should stay or leave, today I'm gonna reveal seven urgent signs many smart women miss that show you you need to end this ASAP. Listen, it's easier to make the decision to leave a guy when there's a blatant, flaring, obvious signs that let you know that things are not good, that things are abusive, that things are toxic, but sometimes the signs are not so glaring. Sometimes the way we experience him and ourselves in the relationship is confusing enough to let us keep ourselves in a relationship that's painful, that's draining our self-worth and our self-esteem without even realizing that it's happening. So if you catch yourself right now in the middle of one of the situations, the first thing I want you to know is that my heart is with you and that you're not crazy, that you're not flawed, and that we can get through this. The main thing I need you to understand, if you're not really sure about why you're still staying there, but you can't seem to pull away from it, is that there's three conditions that make situations like this far more prevalent. The first one is a high level of emotional intensity of chemistry. Of course, if you connect with a guy where you don't feel that chemistry or that feeling of, ah, the, the sun is shining in my face and the angels are singing and my heart is exploding, to leave that man. But when you have moments of this and it's something you've been craving perhaps for your entire life and it's finally happening, or maybe you experienced it 10, 15 years ago and it's happening again, it's much harder for your brain and heart to make the decision, we need to leave this. Because part of you is think, saying to yourself that it's not good for you, but the other part is craving that intensity. Second, you've determined consciously or subconsciously that he clicks some important boxes for you. And unfortunately, you're placing some disproportionate level of weight on those boxes. Sometimes it's the combination of his physical appearance and the way he talks with you at times. Sometimes it's his level of intelligence and his level of ambition in the world. Whenever those things are present, sometimes you erroneously weigh them more than you should. And then when you're about to make a decision, your brain doesn't really grasp in that moment that emotionally you're experiencing what I call a negative equation. Negative equation is you have five minus 10 is minus five. But if you don't really see it this way, then you might be experiencing some losses emotionally in terms of worth, in terms of self-esteem, and by the time you realize it, it's a little too late. Number three is you may have an unresolved emotional wound that's triggered in intimacy. Sometimes something you experienced in childhood, something you experienced growing up, is very raw and unattended. And when you connect with a man, it triggers that part of you that needs healing. And in some obscure way, you're attempting to heal that wound through the behavior of being in a relationship with someone who can never help you heal it. Hello, my name is Byrne. And if you'd like to attract your ideal life partner, create the level of intimacy you've been seeking without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, games, or stupid techniques that don't really work long term, then make sure to hit the subscribe button right now so you can be notified of new episodes as they come out. The first sign that this is a troublesome relationship that needs intense consideration slash ending is that the highs feel too high, but the lows feel too low as well. There's a wide range of spectrum in terms of intensity. And it's similar to someone who experiences heroin for the first time. They attempt for the remainder of their addictive life to reach that high, that nirvana, that feeling of the sun exploding in their face, but it never happens again. In a similar way, when you experience a feeling of being seen by someone that in your book is someone who's worthy, who you feel a strong level of chemistry, physical connection, you might even tell yourself a spiritual connection, you might spend the entire length of that relationship attempting to reach those moments. But when maybe he turns on a dime, maybe he lacks the compassion, maybe he's really rude, maybe he's incredibly manipulative. When you experience that feeling of shame or that feeling of pain, you're not sure why it's happening and why something that feels so right can feel so wrong as well. One of the common signs that I hear from women who tell me that they're in one of these relationships, but you don't understand, Burn. when it's good, it's really good. And my second part to that, yeah, but when it's not good, it's really shitty. 
<laughs> right? That's not what you want. You want more balance in the equation. Number two is he lacks compassion and tact when he shares what's wrong with you. And here's the challenge in this, because it's not black and white. Sometimes he's very kind. Sometimes he's very polite. Sometimes he leads you up with his words. But every now and then, he's going to throw a punch that feels like so below the belt that it takes your breath away emotionally. Sometimes he almost figures out what's the most wounded part in you and he uses that and he triggers in a way that makes you feel really disrespected and really shameful about yourself. So be very aware when someone is manipulative enough to get you to a place that feels incredible and then when you least expect it, throws a punch that makes you start to hate yourself. Number three, the percentage of negative versus positive reinforcement is out of whack. This is one of the things that makes relationships end, period, even if it's not a toxic relationship. And the tricky part about this is he might have started giving you more general good feedback than negative feedback, but when it starts turning, when you start recognizing that the majority of things he's sharing about you or for you or in terms of the relationship are negative, there's things you need to change. You're not good enough. You're not smart enough. You're not fit enough. You're not sexy enough. It's almost like the inner part of you that's wounded starting to trying to convince him that it's not the case. So you stay a little longer trying to prove him wrong, but sometimes there's no great deeds that you can accomplish that will let this guy change his mindset about it. Once it starts and becomes a trend, it's really challenging to get out of it. Now, before I reveal signs four through seven, if you're single, listen to me right now, I'd love to help you understand the root cause of why you're still single. And what I've done is I've taken many years of helping women in every continent, every walk of life, every love challenge you can imagine and put them together in a simple quiz you can take in about 60 seconds that will reveal at the end of it the number one reason you're still single. If you want to get your answer, all you have to do is go to the first link in the description. You will see a page that looks like this. Answer a few simple questions and in the next 60 seconds you'll have two things. Number one, the answer to the question, why are you still single? And number two, a customized report based on your specific love challenge that will show you what's the next immediate step you can take to gain control of your love life and to switch this around. Number four is the conversation drama starts centering mainly around him and his life. You go from someone who's really hungry to get to know you, excited to understand you and to really get to the intricacies and the mystery of you to talking about himself and making everything about himself. I know this is slightly slightly or very narcissistic in nature. You don't have to be a full-blown narcissist to actually display the qualities like this. But when you recognize that the relationship or the dating or the courtship becomes so unbalanced that really everything revolves around him, his problems, his life, his challenges, and that there's little interest to understand you, to understand your world, and it becomes more about you helping him in his life, you helping him solve his drama, that's a telling sign that this is a dysfunctional relationship that needs some heavy addressing, if not ending. Number five, you feel ashamed and ridiculed and belittled when you speak up about something you believe in. And here's the trick. It doesn't happen every single time. Sometimes he does show interest. Sometimes he shows appreciation about what you're sharing. But every now and then, and sometimes in front of other people, sometimes in a very passive aggressive way, sometimes in a manipulative way that really you and him understand, but it may not be obvious to somebody else who hasn't really understood because you, ha you haven't shared with them your deepest wounds, but he actually can grab something that's a deep wound and share a comment in such a way that lands a hefty punch that takes your breath away. When you don't feel safe expressing yourself, when you don't feel appreciated, when you feel disrespected, when you share something and instead of just, I disagree with you, it's like, you're wrong. There's something wrong with you. Why can you, how can you think that way? And almost like you have to change your way of thinking. I'm going to shame you for it. That's a telling sign that, that this is a painful situation that needs an ending ASAP. Number six is you start liking yourself less and doubting yourself more. When you recognize, and it requires a high degree of courage, my dear, because sometimes we don't want to admit this to ourselves. When you recognize that you're, as a result of dating this human being or being with this human being, you're really hating yourself a little bit. You don't like yourself as much. You have more self-doubt than before. Instead of being lifted up, you feel like, oh, something's weighing on you constantly. That's a telling sign that this is something that regardless of what you're telling yourself, regardless of how intense it feels at times, regardless of how awesome it is when it is awesome, 
needs to end soon. Number seven is you feel like you need to recuperate emotionally after spending time together. And it doesn't have to be a long time. Sometimes it's an hour. Sometimes it's a phone conversation and you feel like, oh, something just punched you. You don't enjoy it basically at the end of it. Life starts becoming a dark cloud as a result of this relationship. When you recognize that the time that you need to be better within yourself is not just a healthy, normal time when you spend time with somebody else, because that's necessary sometimes, right? Do your own things, have your own life. And when it's more frequent than not, that it feels heavy after spending time with him, after speaking with him, after spending a weekend together, then that, that's a telling sign that something needs to shift. Hope this is helpful and useful. If it is, please click like and thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and please, if you enjoy this video, share with me in a comment the number one takeaway you're getting from this, and share this with someone who needs to hear this.